ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Witcher 3! Can we make it day? Because I don't want to run around at night AGAIN! Ah, yes, yes indeed we can. Perfect! Ah, oh, of course, but it's raining. How can it not be raining? Optional mission. Or optional part of the mission. Come on, run! Troll back under your rock. Who? I'm not living under a rock. So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Mm. On the front? You bet your ass we're gonna worry about you! I mean, we're gonna forget about you the moment you're, you left our site, but still. So, I was thinking... Are we ever gonna get to go inside Oxenford Academy? And not in the main game, no, but in the DLC apparently, yes, 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 we will indeed go into the Oxenford Academy. Come on. Where is it? Is it... Is it over there? Yes. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the Academy. Excuse me? Not even lecturers? No one means no one. King See, you've become dead. quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right, but alone, which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around. <laughs> How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right, let me in. <laughs> you, ha you were hatching that plan in front of them. They can hear you, you know. Unless they're complete idiots, which they probably are, um, in terms of the game. But no normal person that, uh, would would just go, oh yeah, yeah, they're 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 hatching a plan. They're being really secretive. Feels like they want to sneak somebody in. What? Oh, Jesus again? Why do you keep switching my objective? Should I just jump into the water? What does the map say? Yeah, yeah, I probably should. There's a, there's a boat, there's a boat down there. Well then, Ooh. down we go. Woo! Yeah, we're not gonna take the boat. We're gonna run on the shore. It doesn't pay, or it doesn't, doesn't pay off. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth the hassle. Please don't be guards. I don't want to. Oh. No, it's not guards. Great. Well, if it's not guards, it's no problem. Now we're not the moon. We want to do the, the the freezy thingy with the northern realm bomb. Come on, come on. Yes. No. Take the bomb. Ah! I haven't equipped it. Take the bomb. No! Don't do this. Don't do this to me. No. You cannot do this. I'm gonna twirl around a bit. How about that, eh? Ah, you can't even hit me. Oh shit, yes you can. Yes you can. No, you can't. Oh. Yeah, that's that's. Was it? Oh god, I wasn't any good at all this time. That was just bad. I mean, that was l literally just bad the way I handled those drowners. Come on, ah. Not even he hit me! Oh come on, at least the last one I gotta be ready to defeat without being hit once. Oh, did he hit me? I think he hit me. There we go. And done. Very sloppily done, but still. I wasted a lot of potions. No matter. Pa-ching! Right? Right? No? What the fuck? Why doesn't it instantly regenerate my potions? 
I thought it worked that way now. Where are we here? Of course, once again, needs to have the the, the special. Ah, uh, come on! What is it called? The reference decoction. There we go. Golden Isle was really only useful once. Right. Okay. Then maybe I have to meditate for one hour. In this case, for what reason I do not know, but it seems to be the case here. Also, in terms to regenerate my health and not eat anything, I'm gonna have oh shit! I'm gonna have some potatoes. It will regenerate me for 13 minutes. Great. And there's a hole in the wall here somewhere around here. Geralt. No. Oh. Are you there? A rope. Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line. <sighs> it's night again. Have you have you seen that it's night again? Why did you get the rope? have to be night. <sighs> Long story, but we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing, really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. Man, Shakeslock is... Ah, Jesus. Again. Please! Shakeslock is like a um, combination between Shakespeare and Sherlock. Which, yes, I know they know, I'm sure it was on purpose. Okay. Any last words? Well, so much for sneaking in there, I guess. <laughs> I like that shovel, actually. Can I twirl with the shovel? Oh, I can twirl with the shovel. That looks fantastically spectacular. Oh, look at this. And I'm regenerating my health by just absolutely mashing the shit out of them. That is so cool! I love the shovel! Let's do or is it a spade? I think quick. it's a spade. Maybe well, it's easily enough fit on. Yep, it's the spade. What's the difference between a spade and a shovel, you ask? Ow! I'll tell you. Uh, as far as I know... Oh, shit. A shovel you can use to dig a hole. Uh, while a spade can be used to not just dig a hole, but to sort of make room for... Holy shit! Uh, not make room. Ah, uh, you know. Sorry, I was I was distracted by those guards. Come on! Uh, yeah, a shovel you can use to dig a hole on, on, on soil or soft ground or, or something. Uh, while a spade is sharper, has a sharper edge, uh, sometimes even uh, ends in a sort of a tip, a sharp tip, and with it you can dig holes or you know dig in uh, harder soil or well yeah uh, harder soil that doesn't let itself be dug easily, that kind of stuff. I don't really know the words for harder soil in English. Sort of... Well, not exactly littered with with uh, with stones, because you can't crack stones with it. Just... Well, generally, soil that gives you more assistance. Lock tight. Need another way in. You leave a window open, maybe? Maybe. Who knows? We'll just have a look around. Or a door. No, that's locked too. Balls. Oh, he'll leave a window. I see. So you want me to get up this ladder and find out whether or not there's a, s a window open on the on the first floor? Or on the second floor, actually. Yeah, I can see how somebody would leave a window open in this. Yep, yep, yep. I can see how somebody would leave a window open in the, in in uh, a 
the second store. I do that from time to time because, you know, I don't expect somebody to just crawl up the house and and get in, especially since I'm living in a flat and the house has a very steep 90 degree angle wall, not like this uh, easily um, climbable thingamajig. So I don't expect anybody to take the hassle to crawl up the wall just to break into my place considering there's not a whole lot to, to go for in my place. Silver I think the most expensive thing I have is my computer. Used in ages, looks like. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look at it and scream. Someone looked at it and screamed. Away. Okay, those are all shots from the mirror. Mi mirror. Mirror? Mi mirror? Mirror? Mirror! Why does mirror sound so weird now? Come on, that's a, that's a tomb. Examine, Kill please. Boko's lesser key. Tomes about demons. Dusty as they come. Is it, though? There's a lot of books here. Which I could potentially sell, though they don't get you too, too much money. Even with the, with the book... Uh... Or the book merchant. Is that you? Leave the bed pan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out. Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. Well, no. But I do want to know about him. No one sent me. I may be blind, but I sense unclean powers better than anyone. Why do you think the witch hunters guard me like a treasure? I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. <laughs> yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I'm one of the foremost experts on the occult. Actually, I am aware. Experts, That's that why is. I my came. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van. <clears throat> and you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant, but not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches. Sorceresses, what have you? Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm, a witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? Curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gauntero Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there. Where at last, I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Yeah, pretty much. Although wishing fame mentality is not a harmless contract. On the other hand, just getting off the ship full of Kaviris. Kaviris? So was that their name? No, Ophiris. Ophiris, um, 
that is pretty much a harmless thing and he had a ton of hassle for it what's with the surroundings these runes what do they mean they protect me here evil cannot touch me how do you know he told me himself paid me a visit once fascinating that was i was blind already but saw it clearly he smiled at me said he was honored i'd taken such an interest in him he wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me he drew the circle and said i'd be safe within it his way of repaying me you see Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Yeah, and since he isn't dead inside the circle, I don't believe that that might actually be true. Or again, he might just be playing with him. But again, you know, I wouldn't take the chance either. Know anything else about the man? Gaunt or Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. Oh, and, uh, wait a minute. I might actually leave. I would actually, at some point, maybe leave the circle because... What's about... Uh, how, how would you go to the toilet and... and, and and sleep and uh, I mean I guess he, no I don't know actually oh geared sign one of these packs with him brilliant deduction have you guessed why you must know that he came from a wealthy influential line he must have if the family of his betrothed accepted him yet did you know his fortune soured he himself became an outcast impoverished Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Odin delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Holy Olgird shit! Chose and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris, his fortune restored. Oh. Wow. He killed his own brother. That is pretty extreme. So did Olgird kill his own brother? Oh, he no, get, he got no, him killed. No. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. All right, that's why his brother never knew, because it was he wasn't, you know, wasn't directly killed. It wasn't even indirectly. It was actually overpacked. Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Many illnesses are treatable, okay. Because by far not all. Yet. Why well, was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference. 
die by it. Oh, no way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Ogdim at his own game. Meaning? Ogdim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. <laughs> Does Geralt even have a human soul? I mean, he was a human, but he now sort of is not just a normal human. Well, I guess he still has a human soul. Odin <clears throat> left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Interesting. Why do... Why, why is Geralt the only one who has a mark? What? What's the mark do? Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. Ooh. He was out of the circle for a second. Oh. Ah, uh, well. And there he goes. That's what happens if he steps outside the circle. Yeah. Well, that's it for the illustrious career of Professor Shakeslock. Out with the candles. Ooh, and a key to his home. <laughs> Meaning I can get out the front door now. Which is certainly a nice change of pace. Yeah. See, that makes it kind of problematic. All things considered, that means that whatever happens next when we meet up with Gontro Dim, I really should try to sort of trick him into making a pact. Ah, uh, not a pact, a, uh, a, a, a game. Because getting out of the pact the normal way doesn't really seem to be an option. And so far, I mean, Geralt didn't have any disadvantage due to his pact with him. Oh, come on. Oh, thank you. Not his all geared head, where he his, he his feelings just withered. His only disadvantage so far is the is his face too. No, his his branding. His face branding. Uh, disadvantage? No, it's not really disadvantage. It's not really what I meant. His uh, uh, I, I I can't remember it. I don't remember the word right now. Sorry. Anyway, the only bad thing that happened to him is the is the sign, as opposed to Olgert having his feelings taken away, which leads me to believe that there is something more behind this. Mark thingy magic. So, guess we'll find that out next time. Thanks for watching. Please comment and do subscribe.